I think it's just a really unique place. Man, I'm just gonna buy a drink here. Be ashamed to not have a Utah piece. God damn it. Zinc's an animal. He gets me stoked out here. Play for my bars! Yeah, baby. made me come to Utah. Why, why not Utah? I mean, it's pretty much the most ideal place to ride a free ride mountain bike. Set up the RV, doing a little mohome trip for a couple weeks here. Go try and find some cool spots, dig, ride, film, get rad. Zinc said he knew of a, a zone that had some potential, so we said, why not? We got a motorhome. This is sick out here, man. Look at this fucking bitch and run out. Yeah. Step one is scouring all the new zones that you can think of. Crazy. It's unreal here. Basically just walk up and shred it kind of lines. I think there's a line. I think you can start riders right. Ride and drop in down there. Kind of sketchy. But pretty sick. Lunchtime. Almost. I'll bring one for zinc. Maybe I'll bring two, actually. What's up? How's it? Getting anything? I found two things. Here, come check it out. Where'd you find the <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Cow dung on my shoe. So we were kind of running around just within the zone that we were at. It was just a bunch of dirt roads, and it was hard to find your way around. We're out here. I think we missed a turn. We ended up on this really sketchy road. And Aaron uh, was on his way to meet us and ran right into a mud bog. And <laughs> so here we are. I just uh, got the moho stick. Luckily, some guys came to help us out with the diesel, so we'll see how that works. Man, I'm just gonna buy a drink beer. That was a miracle. They showed up within 30 seconds after we got stuck, and we're like out in the middle of nowhere out here. A couple of tourists out here, man. Possibly. Right up around the corner is a little, little place up. where you can get up and turn around. Then she come back, but give her the onion. Don't let out. If you're moving, you ain't stuck. <laughs> Last and stay this way. We turned around and uh, now we got to get back through this sucker. So uh, I'm gonna see how this goes. I think I'm just gonna punch it. Yeah. Worry about you for a minute. <laughs> Remember, you see a puddle up in these hills, hit hard, hit it fast. Well, yesterday was supposed to be the rainy, windy day, and then we wake up and it's just dumping snow, basically. Let's fill a garbage bag with some propane. Yeah, let's shoot fireballs at it. <laughs> and shoot fire yeah, let's shoot fireballs at it. <laughs> then we <laughs> attempted to blow up some bags full so of propane small. and was not sure of the outcome. Got a few Roman candles. <laughs> Mortars, we're trying to make use of a snowy day. Gunballs. Lame. That was horrible. I wanted to see an explosion. Yeah. Well, now we know we got a little bit in there. Maybe if we, we got to pressurize it then. Yeah. I think so. Around you? Yeah. With propane like we did, but more, and then yeah. put it on top of that. So that oh we, my god. Like duct tape it, and then when it goes, it's like. Well, we just gotta tape. fucking light it and run.
<laughs> it was pretty sick. Yeah, it, was pretty sick. <laughs> it was snowing about 10 minutes ago, and now the sun's out. Guns out. Sun's out, guns out. So I think we ride our bikes pretty soon, and hopefully bang off all the stuff we wanted to bang off today. I know Cameron Zank really well in the contest environment, but I've never actually had to go and like try and build lines and all that. Well, you wanna go first or me go first? Oh, yeah. That word. Drop it! So it was pretty unique to come up with him and, and see how it was gonna go. And I've actually never met anyone so motivated to send it. Like he'll go to a, a zone and if it's not the gnarliest thing he's done, he won't even build it or think about it. He's just like, it's gotta be badass, basically. Down the, the bowl shoot up there. His motivation almost scared me. This line's scary as shit. It's pretty much straight off the top up there, weaving through the guts. It's probably gonna be the funnest line I've ever done, actually. The biggest, most gnar ski style line I've ever done. I'm, I'm nervous as hell, but I obviously think it's gonna work more than I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, boss. When Cam says he's scared, that means it's like extra gnarly. He uh, pretty much doesn't ever back down from anything. So I think uh, our factor high. You know, it's so sick to have someone like that motivated to progress. And that's exactly what I wanted coming out here. And he's such a rad dude to ride with. I was, I was psyched on my pick. Locked and ready. Just about ready, you guys. Holy shit. <sighs> All right, wish me luck, boys. Dropping a 10. Most lines like this, it's like one or two crux moves. And this one, it's, it's like six. Fuck, man. Oh, oh my god. Oh man, I'm glad that one's over. Dude, you were charging that thing. Yeah, that was awesome. awesome. Nice. No filter, bro. High contrast set. Instagram's uh, free ride entertainment, no anything in between, right? No, it's free ride underscore ENT. Uh, okay, here it is. It's out in the world now. From the looks of it, there's a storm rolling in. So this was our last day, but by the time we waited for the light to hit the whole line, the wind was just so gnarly and I could hardly stand on my bike. Give me a heads up when it's calm because it's coming from you to me, so you'll have a better idea. And it wasn't really breaking at all, and so I kind of just had to go for it. I just didn't want to leave the line behind. From the bottom, it just looks so burly. First run, I didn't anticipate one of the landings being too soft. My bike almost tomahawked off a couple hundred foot cliff. And it shows that Brandon's still human because he didn't land at first try, but just it shows how hard it is. Yeah, I mean, that line was gnarly. All right, drop it in. Pretty amazing. And then the flip at the end just was the icing on the cake and boosting it deep, landing on bushes, and then just monster trucking out of it. I think that's the shit. <laughs> it's the best stuff. That fucking was so gnarly. I hit my dick so hard. Oh. It's good to get everything out of the way. We got all the lines we built, and I'm pretty hyped to move to Virgin. Here in Virgin, Utah big, like 40 by 20 or so. We get a little remote helis and just play around with some cool shots. Judging whether it's big or if it's kind of scary or whatever, you know, it's all discretionary, but 
it's like you either do or you don't have enough speed, and that's what we've been yeah. judging. It's basically like either you're gonna have the perfect amount of speed or not enough.